Hello, hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back. Welcome back. Back to the air zone, that expansive area in our chest. Hi, Sandra. Glad you're here. Uh, let's take a nice deep clearing breath. I really, really want to commend you for being here and doing the work. You see, it's not a discipline. It's a lifestyle. And, um, and it's really sacred. So I really, I really honor you for doing this work. You probably didn't understand 43 episodes ago what you were getting into, but I'm so glad that you're brave enough to be here because it does take bravery. Good morning, Marilyn. So, <laughs> um, I've been doing a lot of thought on the me membership and I've had some great feedback, so thank you for that. Um, you're just not putting in the price. <laughs> what, do we, what do we wanna charge for this per month? Um, um, but I really realize um, the level of tenderness that I'm trying to, um, the importance of the tenderness in which I deliver the work in, in a way that it's not too chaotic for you and it's not too way out there. And I really realized that it's like, I don't know if you've ever done this, it's like reading the last, the last page of a chapter of a book. It kind of um, gives me a notion, or perhaps if you do this as well, a notion as to what, what where the chapter's kind of going. Um, and uh, so this, I, I see this uh, beautiful portal that we've created here with our daily lives as sort of that last chapter of the book where we just touch on um, where, where we wanna go. And I think it's a great way to, to just check in with yourself and, and see, do I want to expand my curiosity with this? And then as we go into the membership, then there's more of an accountability to and maybe not even accountability, but there's more of a, a resource that's available to you on a monthly basis that is yours, that is truly yours, that is that is yours as self-paced as you need or want it to be, and offers a private community, similar to Facebook, but it's off of the Facebook platform, a private community that 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 you knowingly can inter uh, interconnect with. And then I just really see it as blossoming as we step into doing um, local urban immersion ret retreats or even global retreats and we get a chance to meet each other and step into um, step into the souls that we're, con we're connecting with here all over the world. So exciting. So uh, in saying that, I really um, encourage you, if you haven't already, to do the work in that passion fire area. Uh, because it is a collective of energy as we move up the the body into in in our body in our vibratory in our um, uh, essence in our uh, vibratory essence that's it and frequency. So you know the the vortex that I showed you of evolution. Well, we're wa we're, we're we're walking in that ever so uh, um, step by step, baby steps, because we started with the physical, right? We went into the emotional, all those four quadrants, physical, em emotional, mental, and spiritual in, um, in the uh, relational, as I call it, in this area, because it relates to you and your family and the world in which you live in and the globe in which um, you, you travel through the universe in. So the heart region, you know, known as the heart chakra, anahata, with the element of air, um, it brings us to a place of acceptance and um, openness. So you can um, sort of have a sense of where we're going with that. We worked with that in the fire and transmutation of, of that acceptance of who we have become on this journey and, and 
even past life journeys. So into this acceptance-ness, um, and, and we're digging from, from the passion fire zone, finding those diamonds. So we're becoming open to who we are instead of being constricted um, in a constricted um, way of, of keeping that part of us secret or hidden or we don't even know. Maybe there's just no memory of that part of you. It took a long time for me to have a memory uh, and even that's just a snapshot of, of some of the potential traumas that I experienced under seven. And with kindness and gratitude and love, stepping into those, but we need to have the container set. You see, it's all, it all comes up. You, the more that we are grounded and centered in the line, the more that we can align with our truth of being, of who we are, the truth of us. And with that witness, consciousness, we can envelope and love that inner child, love that, that little person um, that, that's going, whoa, you know, do we really want to do that? Do we really want uh, to go there? You know, in shamanism, there's this beautiful journey that I've had uh, the, the fortune of, uh, and it is a fortune, uh, of uh, participating in, and, um, and, and, and it's called the Little Red Wagon. And you can imagine what that Little Red Wagon journey is like. It's like, here we are, and we journey with this Little Red Wagon back to those places, those back to those places that are potentially fractured, you know, that where we were hurt, where we were, um, where we learned how to be in the world. You know, if we had to be, uh, uh, if we, if we, you know, it wasn't okay to cry, or if it wasn't okay to speak, or or if it was safer not to speak, or if it was safer not to cry, then we we've taken that on. We've put in, we've put that jacket on. A lot of times we can refer, reference it as like peeling back the onion. I, I like to take take off the armor. It's an armor. It's an armor. An onion is just a little too easy to peel. It's an armor. But we can imagine it like an onion where it just, the, the, the first outside layer is a little thicker, right? So working in this area allows us to go inside and be still and to find peace and stability without the constriction. And I'm sharing some writings from um, a beautiful author, Anadea Judith. Um, I really believe that she's sort of written a really great soma, a somatic experience of the body and the spirit of, um, and how to work with this armor. Um, it's actually called Eastern, um, Eastern Body, Western Minds. You'll see it on a lot of doctor's shelves. You'll see it definitely on naturopathic shelves. And you'll certainly see it on my shelf. So um, she says, healing the heart involves attending to the most vulnerable and sacred aspects within ourselves. Good morning, Mara and Sarv. Good morning. Um, healing the heart involves attending to the most vulnerable and sacred aspects within ourselves. That's why I call it a sacred practice. I do a whole urban immersion where you come for three hours on Friday night, we do a fire ceremony, we do a letting go, and we meet each other as a community. And then on Saturday, Saturday morning for 12 hours, from eight till eight, we get to experience a morning practice together. And we get to experience different things for 12 hours and eat together and be together and, and be with ourselves be with ourselves and 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 see the differences of um that people may be uh bringing into their sacred practice and embodying the sacred practice and then saturday night we have a closing ceremony and i release you to the world again to take that one bigger better not necessarily better but one bigger step in you as you step forward and we bring with us this collective energy which uh, you know, it's sensory. It's like I, I, I get more saliva in my mouth. It's like I can taste it. I taste that love. I taste that bliss. It's like that 
that nectar I get in deep meditation on my three and a half hour sadhana practices on Saturday. It's, it's there. So with that, I invite you to bring your attention and your, your uh, awareness to your feet on the floor and your, your sit bones on the chair. And it's really important that you acknowledge those sit bones on the chair. Those are a big grounding piece for us. Um, and, and you, as we explore the depths of this uh, air element, and we, we allow ourselves to stay in expansion because you may experience something that wants you to contract. And I please, 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 I invite you to give yourself consent and permission. We must work with consent and allow that expansion. And invite that inner part of you, that inner person, that inner child to accept with permission and consent to expand with you and take him or her or they are there by the hand. This is the area. Well, it's, it was in the fire area as well because we were really walking the edges and we are, we are continuing to walk the edges of that vortex. So that picture that I had with the eyes looking in to that involution where we may go into that self-sabotage or what I call for myself a little pity party and sometimes it's okay, it's okay to shed those tears because it's a grief area. It's the grief that even this morning I felt a little, I felt a twinge from my grandma that passed away in January, 2017. And you're gonna perhaps get these little twinges of remembrance of how things were before and how things are now and how maybe you wanted to show up better or you could have showed up better and all the wisdom that you're in today. And that's all great. It's okay. It's all part of who you are. It's a part of who I am. So I brought a, I put on a bracelet that I have from my grandma this morning. And just to, to let you know, every morning I wear a little piece of her jewelry. Um, when she passed, it was found out that she loved to shop on the shopping channel and she loved her fashion jewelry and she always had. It's just when I was a little girl, I thought it was all real. But she did do the real gems of smoke quartz and clear quartz and opals and turquoise and, and those sorts of things. But her, her diamonds were quartz and I always thought she had the biggest diamonds. Uh, I also thought that she was an executive at Shell and you, that just, I, it gave me a giggle. It gave me a giggle, all that beauty and that how I looked up to her. So I know that she's with me every morning and I invite you to take something special out and create a little talisman for yourself. My ring is a talisman. It's a talisman of the 12 virtues that I strive to be. And we'll go into those virtues in the membership because they're really deep and it's something that I really want us to embody. But for now, I invite you to immerse yourself in gratitude and appreciation and inspiration. And even if you, if you go out walking every day, put a different color thread on the, on the tie of your runners or something and create a little something for you to look down at and see or, or see within your environment that will allow you some remembering of, oh yeah, okay, I'm so grateful for this little thread. I'm so grateful for this remembrance. Ah, oh, what else shall we share this morning? So another piece that Anadea says is, you know, through these vulnerable and sacred aspects, as we explore these aspects of ourself, we can drop the protective armor that keeps us bound to the ego and bound to the smaller parts of ourselves. Ah, we can only melt the armor with a combination of feeling and understanding that is love. So this is the part where we step in. We, we, we always, we get to explore more love for ourself. And with more love for ourself, we engage those mirror neurons. And with our own vulnerability, we engage those mirror neurons and allow the people around us to step into it as well. And I always invite you to bring someone on your journey with you so you learn this new language and you can support one another, even with a glance. Um, or um, 
or a, a call or a text or just even a heart. My heart's to you. And let's bring now, let's come back to the attention in our feet and our sit bones on the chair. And see and imagine those roots, tree roots coming in and going down or those etheric feet. And, the, and a greater appreciation for this grounding and centering and aligning. Because if we do this work, if we do this work without the grounding and centering and aligning, we've got a good chance of going in the hamster wheel or going below the line and not staying above the line or going in the washing machine. And that's not where I want to take you. Please, no, I don't want to take you there. We have spent, you have spent, I'm sure, enough time there. I know I have. And this, this is my bliss. This work is my bliss. I hope that you can find it to be your love and your bliss, your joy, your euphoria. It's like, oh, ah. Okay, let's connect with that central core of the earth. Allow the etheric feet and the roots to drop and wrap around it with such joy to, to have the security and the groundiness of Mother Earth and see and imagine that beautiful energy coming up into the body with all your sensories and coming into the bottom of the feet and into the legs, glorious, glorious color red of Mother Earth and invite it and permission to ground you and allow you to walk grounded today and into the legs and the hips and those sit bones that are supporting us where we're sitting. And that's a place that we come back to if we ever get into some anxiety and, and work, get into the emotion of the work. Regulate, feel the sit bones on the chair, feel your feet on the floor, bring this mother earth energy up time and time again, up into the lower abdomen. Sure you make, ensure that you've got the deep diaphragmatic breath engaged Feel that expansion of the lower abdomen as you inhale. And then just allow that natural exhalation as we continue to draw that Mother Earth energy up into our lungs. And feel the expansion in the heart and consent and permission to open as we wash this beautiful nurturing Mother Earth energy over our shoulders, releasing our shoulders, cascading down our arms and into our hands and feel if you can feel any tingles in your hands check in with your feet can you feel the tingles in your feet bring it up into your neck and into your head feel in the full head with this beautiful safety and security of mother earth and allow it to come out sahasra chakra seven out the top like a waterfall 360 degrees feeling it cascade down the outside of the body and into Mother Earth. Oh, good morning, Victoria. Vicky, I'm so happy to have you here. And bring in that centering. Very important to bring in the centering and center with that. Center with that knowingness that we're aligning with and aligning with the truth of you and giving permission as we take this line straight up through the center part of the body, the Shushumna and up through to divine creator source, higher self, father sky, ah, the place of many names and all work and all are good and all are with love and allowing this love, this effervescent white, golden white light energy to come down and cascade into our bodies and feel the sacredness and the divinity and the, the sparkle and the light of this energy as it fills the head and the neck, and the shoulders, and cascades down into our arms, blending with the Mother Earth energy. Feel the difference between the solidness of the Mother Earth energy and the lightness of the divine, sacred creator energy. This higher self, it's a two different vibrations and sense the density of one and the lightness of the other and bring it into the neck and the heart. Allow it to expand with love into the heart region. Wash this whole area of the body and wash the torso, wash every cell, bathe every cell in this light. So the cells can emit this light and this higher frequency, this higher vibration into the lower abdomen, into the hips, into the legs, 
Your legs are probably feeling a little dense, a little heavier because of the groundedness and the, allow that blending of this effervescence of this beautiful light energy. Mm, the wisdom of this energy, the knowingness, the clarity, the intuitiveness. And let's be with these two energies. It's through these beautiful um, divine energy, this air area, this heart region, this um, respiratory system that we can engage through love, through love, through the respiratory, through the circulatory. Ah. Uh, That we're able, this is an opportunity to expose, I guess. Judith, uh, Anadeath says, expose our inst instinctual core and evolve to the next step of expressing our truth. She's such a beautiful writer. Through love, we are able to embrace and heal us, you, and to heal the larger world around us. Because remember, we're still we're working always with the collective. We're like that pebble into the pond. You're the pebble, and it ripples out. Mm. And let's engage your mantra. So hum. For years and years and years, I used this mantra. So hum. I am, I am that. Mm -hmm. I will, I can work through the barriers. Yes, of acceptance, to get to that acceptance, that truth of you and the truth of the love for you as you are, as I am. I am love. I am that. So hum. Breathing in on the so, expanding the lower abdomen, exhaling on the hum. And allowing the abdomen to naturally come in towards the spine. Slow, smooth breath, no pause, no jerks, no noise, no judgment. Let's see if you can engage that, that complete breath that goes into the ribs and the back area on the inhale of the one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. If you need to step back from the mantra and engage the counting, then do that. Do whatever works for you to get to where you need to be. This is your path, your journey. The most important thing is to get there. Baby steps. I'll take two minutes here in silence. I just remember to introduce myself. Deborah O'Neill from Blissby.me, Integrative Holistic Health.
Thank you so much for being a part of this meditation together. My offering today is you have a magical touch. You have a magical touch. Yes, you do. Sometimes we forget to touch ourselves. So, you know, don't be afraid to give yourself a big hug for being here, for doing the work. So my invitation to you is to perhaps go on dictionary.com or thesaurus. It's part of it. It has a thesaurus as well. And delve into the words of gratitude, appreciation, and inspiration. All three. Take a look at them and see which one really resonates for you right now because it will change. And just grasp onto one of those and put a little thread somewhere or put something special out that will remind you to focus sort of on that word for the day or the week or the month or the year. And step into really getting to know the truth of you. And um, yeah. Sometimes we, we get caught up and find these little nuggets of ourselves along the way. Keep them in your journal. What word was you drawn to today or this week or this month? And start digging in a different way. Start digging into the airwaves. And with that, please like and share this work. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I love you. Make it a great day.